due to the poor quality of my previous video, um, I've decided to stream and re-record this, so hopefully it'll work out. If not, I'll have to make another video. Um, so what you've got here is a Epic 7 gear calculator that I put together oh, about a day or so it took me to do. So, why do we need a gear calculator? Basically what this does is it calculates stats on gear that you have. You've got to put it in, so you manually put in the stats of the gear that you have that you would like to equip on said character. So as an example, what I've got here, this, uh, obviously you got your weapon, your helmet, chest, neck, ring, boots. Um, obviously your main stat on your weapon, helm and chest is fixed. However, the neck, ring and boots change. So at the moment my main stat on boots is attack, however I can change it to speed, I can have it to HP percent um, or whatever it might need. At the moment I've got it on attack. Um, this is a summary of all these stats combined. This is calculations and all that sort of stuff are done off this particular stat. Um, any set bonuses that you might have applied are here. Uh, this particular set has lifesteal. I haven't factored that in as lifesteal doesn't affect the damage that you do. It's just it's a healing kind of thing. Obviously from here you can select crit rate, a crit rate, attack, HP, defense. Lifesteal is there but it's not configured. Uh, and crit damage. I know there's others. Um, this is just what I've done to start off with. Um, up here you'll find, so this part here, this is information on the character that you've got or the character that you're looking to do. So when you type the name of the character, it'll tell you what level the stats are calculated at, what element it is, what class, and obviously it'll let you know that it's Max Awakening. I've based everything off Max Awakening because that's your best case scenario. So you're not going to get any more base stats than what this is here right now. So as an example, Commander Lorena, um, this is... I think it's taking into consideration maxing all her runes. What this does, there's her base stats there. Alright, so she's got 1144 attack, 4895 HP, 101 speed, 543 defense, 21 crit rate, 150% crit damage. So they're her default stats. Now, if I put this gear, which is the current gear I've got equipped on Lorena, it will give me these final stats. So it'll give me 2.8k attack, just 9.3k HP, speed, defense, yada yada yada. Um, I've also allowed for artifact, stat, artifact stats to be applied. You simply input those values here and that adds to your stats here. Um, that's basically the characters are currently all Nat 5s and Nat 4s I've compiled data for. So if you look on this table here, um, there's 127 heroes currently in the game. Uh, that's 5, 4 and 3 stars. I'm yet to do 3 stars and I'm still adding in some of the four stars. Oh, excuse me. It's very late here. Um, so that will change. I'll add those in um, over the next couple of days. Um, and basically, so this is how you you input your stats. So if I was to take a lovely character that we have, I'll take Commander Lorena as a dummy trial. So we got Commander Lorena, which is here. So this is my Lorena. 
So as you can see her there, um, she has, now you're probably going, well hang on, how come your arena says you got 3.1k? I actually changed some of these stats during the video to um, to show how to change. So what I'll do is I'll change it back. So obviously attack 195. So here, base, attack, that's now 195. My next stat is health. So I'll put that to 69. I change this from that, was it 69? Yeah, I change that to base HP because it's not percent. Then I've got effectiveness, which is 4%. I change this to effectiveness. My next stat is attack, which is, you can see why I've got this one, because it's rolled 21 into attack. And then my last stat is speed, and that is 3. So now you'll say, okay, well now you've got 3.1 compared to 2.9. There's some other stuff in here I've changed as well. As an example, I've got attack set here. So what I do is I go for crit rate. No, I want attack set. So now that boosts my oh, wrong window. Now that boosts my attack up. Now you're probably going, okay, Aaron. Why does I have 3.1k here when it should say I should have 3.3k? It doesn't take into consideration. I've only awoken Lorena five star here, and I haven't maxed out her tree. Yeah, I'm only at plus 14. It doesn't take into. It, it, I haven't done this. But the stats here are saying that I have. That's probably the only criticism I have of it at the moment. And for me to sort of work out what the stats are, it's probably a bit hard. Because when you go through and you do your journal. So this is where I got all the stats from. Um, is from the journal what that does is pretty much I click on Azaria, I go preview stats, I do plus one and I do awakened at max level 60. So reason why I do that is that's that that's like your best case scenario. You're not gonna get any more stats than that. And that's pretty much it. That that's how you use that's how you use the thing. So you just go through, you change all these, put in your stats, change these, put your stats in, change these, put your stats in. See what your gear is out. Another thing you can do is once you've added all this in, and you go, okay, well this is my gear I've got for Command Dolia. What happens if I put this gear on keys, as an example? It comes through, your name change, everything changes, and these are going to be your new stats. So this is what this gear would do if it was put on keys. Another example. Oh look, I want to put this on Martial Artist Ken. Bang. There's his stats. Um, you know, if I wanted to put it on Luna, this is what Luna's stats would be. So it's it's a I think it's a very good tool. It does take a bit of time to to put your information in but I think if you want to save on gold if you want to save potentially on um, uh, just optimizing your characters in generally unfortunately a lot of these games when they head down the PvP path it's all about optimization it's all about um, you know getting the right substats on your gear and obviously having the right turn order, you know, if, if your DPS aren't quick enough, then the other team's going to cut in front of, after your supports go, and you're going to get wiped. So this allows you to sort of move your gear around and come up with a team comp, or come up with a team with gear on them without actually having to spend the gold up front, which I found was the biggest problem for me, is I've got, you know, as you can see, you look at my list of characters that I have, which you see here, so if I go view all, you can see I've got a majority of nat 5s. I've got nearly all the nat 4s. So I've got a lot of characters here. And it's about, okay, well, what do I use with what? Or what can I use? And swapping gear around has become, a, as you can see, my gold is very low. Swapping gear around is an expensive exercise. Well, what I can do now 
is I can input gear and go, okay, I want to put my best gear on Keese because I need her to farm Wyvern. So I right, chuck my best gear in there and then off I go with my next one. Eventually what I'll do is I'll add another gear tab here. So eventually I'll have four. That way what you can do is you can um, do like a team of four, save it and then create another document for another team. So you can have one for each team that you can constantly update and change so you can make sure that your team comp has the right stats and all that sort of stuff. Um, eventually someone might bring out an API version where you plug it in, you download your gear essentially from the game, you run it through a third party app which optimizes everything and you just select change gear. That's a bit above my understanding. Um, this, I understand how it works and it works for me. Um, it's not perfect. There are going to be bugs in it. There are going to be issues. So I apologize for those. Um, I appreciate any feedback you guys give me. Um, I do read comments. I do reply when I can. Um, obviously I'm new to the whole thing, but I definitely want to support Epic 7. I think it's a fantastic etch game. It's engaging. Um, the characters are unique. The play style is great. There are, like every game, there's pros and cons. Um, but I think potentially we're looking at something pretty good. So this is my gear setup um, calculator. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, make sure you tell other people about it. Don't hold this sort of information to yourself. Um, there are some things, you know, that, that we don't say, you know, we don't want something, we don't want to nerf more three stars, anything like that. But um, definitely share this information because it's it'll help people who are new to the game as well, which I find, you know, there's a lot of questions about, oh, do I, you know, do I put crit damage neck or do I put crit raid or do I do this or do I do that? This will help you understanding your stats a bit better. Um, the biggest question that I see get asked is crit damage over attack. Now, that's well and good, but it depends on your crit rate, yeah? There's no point in having 250% crit damage if your crit rate is 50%. You ask, you, 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 and you ask me why. The reason why is that crit damage only works when you crit. If you don't crit, you're not getting any usefulness out of this crit damage. You're only getting the base attack. So, put it this way. If you have low crit rate, you want to take damage out of crit damage and put it into attack. If you have good crit rate, put it all in crit damage and get as much attack as you can. Um, K Gaming says it perfectly. It's about the end stats. It's not necessarily about the set bonuses that you have. Set bonuses are nice, but that's something you work towards late game. Early game, you want to go for stats. So you want to go for 3k plus attack, 200 plus crit damage, and you want to be about 70 75% crit rate. Obviously, 100% is ideal, but 70 to 75 will get you a crit most of the time. Um, and effectiveness on Luna, as an example, she needs about 40 to 50 percent. Others don't need it. It's here nor there. Um, that's my five cents on the whole gearing thing. Uh, try and stay away from flat stats if you can, unless it's speed. They are generally, actually not generally, they are literally the worst potential stat you can get in the game. Even, I'd take a defense percent over a flat attack stat because that defense percent stat will aid you more than, so as an example, an extra 12%, so an extra 12% defense will do better than 12 attack. It's more useful, you can use it. So that's that's my five cents. Um, yeah, other than that, give us a thumbs up to the video, guys. Um, take care, provide feedback, and hopefully this one works better than the previous one. Alright, take care.